is back from Kentucky. Yo. Biznitches. Kilometers, because we're in Canada. Well, we're almost we're closer right now. This is the US on this side, actually. Fun so fact, it's the world's largest unprotected border. Fun fact. Oh, Hawk. Hi. Cool. I'm not going to show my face up. close up in this vlog because I look really ugly. Hi, Banksy! See? Oh my god! Loud. His voice is dropping. I know, that was <laughs> He's going through puberty. Can you close it? Because I have like 8 billion things in my hand. Oh, hi, Binksy. You have a voice. Here he comes. Steven, hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, George is holding this him. is this is Banksy and his good buddies, Giant George, Here the yearling, is. and then his petite, girlfriend. cute little Audrey, who is his girlfriend, and he loves them. Audrey. They're very nice. Audrey's very friendly. Looking like an adult man. Holy. Look at his bum. Yeah, his bum is something else. He's like, I don't skip leg day. He's like four and a half months old now. So he's shed it out mostly and started growing. Audrey, stop. Your friends left to crowd. Started growing his winter coat. You can see a lot more of his markings now. They're more contrast. And his mullet stocking is really coming in. High, high in the back, low in the front. This is his posse, his, his people. They're always close by. George and Audrey are his good buddies. Audrey says, I love this camera and I want to eat it. Look at him being a good little walking man. Oh, he's so round and adorable. He says, I walk up hills, I do things. Right, Audrey? Hi, George. There goes Audrey to be with her little boyfriend. Good standing. Good job, Audrey. Take him for a walk. Come on, come on, Audrey. Come see me again. Come on, Aud. Come on, Audrey. Oh, she says, I come without it now. Yeah, see, look at his little legs right now with the shedding. He's They're the color it. of giraffe. A giraffe. Well, and his bend or cute. Spots. It's so cute. And he's eating my hair. He says I'm a little downhill. Literally. Mm -hmm. Literally. You're on a hill. Banksy, we've known you longer than your mom has. Come on, baby. Good boy. Okay. Ew. He's like, I'm going to eat the worst hay I can get. Oh, Elmo, you're so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so pretty. He's so cute. I've got my mom and I'm pissed. Hey, don't run me over. Oh, you're so cute. You guys could be in a blanket ad. Right? <laughs> oh, whoa, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, 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 Banksy! You're gonna fall. Oh my goodness. You big idiots. Yeah, just use the whole field. Oh god, you're so cute. Oh my god. And the fact that he just arches his neck and shows off. Also surprised we got a new horse. This is Ogo Pogo, aka Pogo. He's George's half brother. They have the same mom, and he's two years old, so he's just hanging out for the winter um, and doing groundwork. Uh, he trained to race, worked once, never raced, um, and now he's here. So he's our little project. Uh, and yeah, really awkward looking right now. But he kind of looks like Grey George, so that's fun. And then this is Milo. 
Milo. It was also like the only horse Milo actually likes, apparently. Yeah, and horses. Milo's mane got roached because he rubbed it all out. Oh, Dude, you're gonna you're fall. So Ogo Pogo. Are you okay, my friend? He has a sock. Yeah. Pogo, you're so funky looking right now. The flies are bothering them. Yeah. And this is a Bubba's. Oh, Bubba's. Oh, she's so cute. So this is us in Shelby's. Oh, that's Phoebe's bum. That's her ass. Oops. And this is Shelby. I'm not swearing, Shelby. <laughs> okay, it's the moss swear. It's just crude, but it's not swear. Anyway, so this is us driving along Zero Ave, and we are on our way to Banksy. Now everyone knows the and street you live on. Oh, stop it. <laughs> anyway, they already knew that. Um, so <laughs> we're on our way to go get Banksy, who has actually been, in case people didn't know, he's been a strong, independent young man, and he has been self-weaning as they do, where he's been being quite independent and kind of hanging out with his buddies and further away from grandma and mummy, grandma mummy. And, uh, and then he spent a couple of nights where they've been separated and he's just been with his little herd. And uh, so there's the trailer. So this is gonna be, he's coming to our place to actually finish off his weaning so that um, if they're calling out to each other at all, if they don't have to hear one another. And uh, he'll be going into a field with uh, another foal at our barn who's also been weaned and an old uncle, which is our barn owner's lovely thoroughbred named Humphrey. We're on to get our Banksy and he's gonna come stay at our place for a while to finish his weaning and then he will either He'll stay with us maybe for the winter or he will go to, he can go back or he can go to one of Shelby's clients places. Smile Shelby, this is exciting, bye. Okay, well I can smile for a little bit. So Banksy lovers of the world, this is Shelby. We're just doing the trailer thing, exciting things happening today. Um, we are at Banksy's place and he is actually going to be finishing up his weaning at our home with another foal that's just gotten weaned at our at our property and he's going to live with that baby and oh, an uncle working. okay and our un and his and an old uncle thoroughbred belonging to our barn owner who oh. is going to be amazing with them and anyway so Banksy for any of you curious when you've asked about uh, whether or not Banksy is weaned yet and the answer has been no it's because he's been doing sort of a slow natural self wean as they all do and you've probably noticed from the standpoint of how um how much time he seems to spend at a grand distance from his grant from grandma mama and uh yeah and he's had a couple of overnights where she's been inside and he's been with his little herd and so um this is just going to be the last of it there's his best friend audrey with whom he's in the stall see so he's going to uh, come back to our place and live there for um, the few months or perhaps the winter and then he can either come back here or he's got another place he could potentially go and so we'll see but this is kind of an exciting day where our independent young man is going to come and finish off the weaning with another buddy where he can be um, if there's any calling they don't have to hear one another but as you can see he's in here this is Audrey and she is his girlfriend she's a yearling and Banksy There he is, and you can see he's pretty happy. He's not calling out for mama. He's already been doing his thing, but his this is his girlfriend. Hi, baby. And he's gonna come. Hi, Audrey. She is the friendliest thing in all the land. And they love each other. Mm -hmm. And so he there you go. And yes, of course, we all know that horses can remain unweaned for many more months than this. And his, that it's... His mom is 26. 20, no, I was going to say, for, it's different for all horses. But yes, some babies don't get weaned until much later. As I mentioned, um, it's sort of been a natural process where he has been spending more and more time on his own, separate from her, and growing like crazy and doing very, very well. And the mare at 26 years of age and things like that and going into the winter it's also best for her so we're taking into consideration both the health and well-being of this amazing amazing nurse mare and our boy who is thriving and i'm sure everybody's been able to see by his build by his size by his growth he's doing great so this is taken into consideration with both of the animal's well-being in mind and with a massive appreciation for the wonderful people who have loaned us this lovely nurse mare, uh, Grandma. So anyway, this is our little peanut head and he's coming out to, 
to come home. So, our little man is now in the back of the trailer. There's our cute little Hubert along for the ride. And he was actually, for a little baby, amazing at getting in. He was pretty quiet and it didn't take very long and we're very proud of him. And so now we are on our way for the little five minute drive to our home to bring our little baby there. And so I'm just gonna say in advance because I know lots of people watch Shelby's channel and are really interested in her beautiful horses and care a lot about their well-being. So I'm gonna just say thank you in advance for any concerns that you may have with regard to Banksy's well-being because we certainly appreciate people caring. But just to reassure you that everything that's being done with him right now has been done with his best interests as well as the mare's best well, yeah, interests at heart. Well, have to consider the fact that since he was on a nurse mare and since she's older, he's at the point now because he's almost five months old yeah. where he's eating enough nutrients and doesn't need to nurse. Well, and has been semi-self-weaning. Yeah. And we have ho other horses to put him out with that he yes. can continue to and learn another social baby. cues from. For but sure. like at the end of the day, the mare's 26 and we're going into winter, so it's not she really had fair to her yeah. to have him continue to nurse when he doesn't need to be. Yeah, yeah. so so needless to say, obviously, for, for the well-being of Mickey, the nurse mare, and for Banksy, and the fact that she's 26 out of respect for her and going into the and winter and the cold months, generous enough incredible. Kind of like, so it was honestly. decided that it obviously, it was best to do it this way and have him wean. So his situation was kind of obviously more unusual in that um, he was put onto a nurse mare. So then some of the process of weaning and such gets adjusted in accordance with those kinds of special circumstances, which are of course different from having um, your foal with um, its biological mother and the options that you have for that. So yeah, so we're very, very appreciative of the incredible people who and the incredible mare that he got to be with, um, but... And baby is coming out now. Oh, can I film it? Hi, baby! If you can film while... Oh, oh my god, his ass is like... Yeah, it's 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 good boy. Good. Wait, 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 wait. You're yeah. skinny, so it all works. Hi, little friend. Yep. Isn't this exciting filming? This is a latch to the door. I'm not doing anything until I'm told to. Ooh. Hey, my man is right there. Good boy! Oh, good boy! Welcome home, baby! Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Everyone's fascinated. Look, there's a baby. That's Vanna Banana. They are like the same height. Yeah. You can let him say hi to her if you want. Aww. Oh, banana. Hi. Good boy. So I just wanted to reiterate the fact that the move wasn't something we initially planned, which is why I had said before that he wasn't going to be coming to my property for quite some time. Um, but it ended up working out where it would be better for him to have him off the property completely for weaning because it was hard for his dam. She kept calling to him and it was more stressful for him to be able to hear her. And then also with him on the property, her bag wasn't drying up as quickly as it should. So the owners wanted him off the property so that she could relax without being able to call for him and have him call back. And it's just easier for the both of them. So my initial plan was different, but obviously like you guys, no, I can't see the future so this kind of changed and it wasn't me like lying to you guys it's just a change of plans because I can't foresee everything especially when we are using the generosity of someone else's mare for his mom. Anyways, the foal he is out with is a six-month-old Appaloosa colt that is owned by a friend of mine. We didn't end up having the other gelding out with them because he was being kind of nasty to Banksy and it wasn't safe, so we pulled him out of there for safety's sake, so it's just the two of them out together. And there is another filly on the property that maybe once she gets weaned she could go out with them, but I don't really know what the plan is for that. But he has a friend that's basically the same 
same age as him. Anyways, this week has been pretty crazy for me because I also had two thoroughbred geldings come in on consignment, which means I'm selling them for their owner. The first one is a five-year-old 16 three-hand thoroughbred gelding. He's very fancy, good mover, super easy going, and easy to ride. He just ran a race last weekend, but was phenomenal settling in here and for his first ride off the track. So if you guys want more info on him, you can check out the link below in my description. But please only contact me if you're seriously interested for either one of them. And also if you're under 18, I do require a parent or trainer to contact me first. Just because in the past I've had a lot of people feign interest in the horses and waste my time when they're not even allowed to be looking for horses. Anyways, both of these geldings are phenomenal quality and as they are right now, they would be suitable for a junior or amateur rider working in a program with a trainer, but they are also really fancy and would be professional quality for a pro who would want to produce them for resale or for themselves. They're priced in Canadian dollars, which means if you're American, you save about 30% because our dollar is lower than yours, and we can help you arrange shipping if you're out of area. This second gelding is a three-year-old 16 two-hand thoroughbred gelding, and he is the half-brother to the one that I just showed you prior to this one. He's also very easygoing and well-minded and was perfect for his first ride off the track and has settled in well to being at this property. They're both really, really incredible-minded horses and I'm really impressed with them. He's a good mover, he has a big engine from behind, and is built to be a very successful show horse in a number of different rings, so he's also a really nice horse to produce for a junior or amateur in a program or a professional looking for a horse to bring up the levels. Hi, George. Hi. Georgie. He's like, I eat. So George is back in Canada and he's going to go out with buddies soon, like those horses that are looking at him, but we're just giving him a little bit to get used to being out here and talk to them over the fence before we turn him out there. So he's just chilling by himself and he just got here this morning and he's been very relaxed. So yeah, pretty good sized field he's got and he'll have lots of fun, I'm sure. He's already had a good roll because he's filthy. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? So yeah, anyways, this is where he is for the winter, but the only thing that'll change is that he's obviously not gonna be turned out by himself for the whole winter, but he's got really good space to move around. There's hills, there's lots of grass. He's got a shelter. He's gonna get hay and he's gonna get some grain over the winter, but I'm gonna really try to cut his grain back since he's not doing anything. But yeah, it's a really good little setup. He's just down the street from my house, so he'll be nice and close, and yeah. Mm -hmm. 